Match number three, enemy action. Runners sent on their way, and it looks as though it's Roy's Rebel who stood in the stalls, refused to jump. So scratch number three, enemy action. Roy's Rebel refused to jump. Nantia is one of the first start of the gates. Whirl away lad is right there shortly after the start. Son of Silver, Promissory is back in fourth position. Then comes Just Latin. On the outside of that, the white cap of Roy's Express. And then comes Roy's Disprin with the black cap. And then Smart World about seven lengths off the leader. Sandy's Point is further back in the run. And then comes Dale Owls and Roy's Jackpot, the trailer. It's racing about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Whirl away lad gets away by three lands. Nantius is second, promissory third, and son of silver. Reds leaves and cap near the rail. Sandy's point was very keen on the way to the start, comes around them. They'll follow it further back by just Latin, and then comes Roy's Desperate. Top of the lane, no false rail today. Whirl away lad the leader. Nantius, son of silver, promissory. Sandy's point is on the outside, and then comes Smart World. Promissory comes to Nantia, Son of Silver down the inside. These are the three. Promissory, Son of Silver down the inside. And Nantia's but Son of Silver hit the front. And it's Son of Silver going on today. And Son of Silver will win. Second place will go to Nantia's then Promissory. Close for fourth on the inside. Roy's Express or Smart World. Number five, Son of Silver, ends up the Toad favourite, and it pays up at 2.40 and is victorious, and six time at the track, the son of McCock, Ian Sturgeon. You heard what Frank Robinson had his say on under starters' orders. Nantia's very nice run back in second, promissory third. Smart World left the parade ring early. That runs into fourth. Further back is a number 12, and that's Roy's Express. And they were followed then by Whirl Away Lad, who was the leader, then Sandy's Point. And they were followed further back in the field by Roy's Disprin, and then came Roy's Jackpot. So the winner, no false rail on the turf, Red Sleeves and Cap comes into the lead. Nantius with the Black Sleeves and Cap, and Promissory is with the White Nose Band. But Son of Silver goes on to score, and Son of Silver for Frank Robertson, the Magok, and bred by the Scott Brothers. Until the fourth race starts off our pick six, back to the studio. Hello, win ya for the tab gold favorite and the great son of Magok, son of Silver, and was having his sixth start today and he's been consistent in the maiden ranks and uh, rewarded this afternoon uh, over this 1400 meter trip and the uh, Frank Robinson uh, if you missed uh, the understarters order so he was uh, quietly confident that the source would pull it off today Frank and we appreciate those comments yeah look I, I think he's a very nice source I think probably today is the only time I've really had him right the times before he needs to be gelded and then last time he just needed the run and I, th and, uh, I rate this also I thought it would have to be a good first timer to beat him I just want to say well done to Mick and Martin in Dubai. They've been, you know, very patient. You know, they're an Astro man, and you see what's been happening to him. So they've had bad luck, but let's hope it turns now. And I think he's also gone. You also gave Oma a big chance later on? Yeah, she's very, very well. She's drawn well, you know, no excuses. Um, I think she'll be hard to beat. She's very well. Thanks for that, Frank, and uh, all the best with this horse. Give our best to the honours as well. Thanks very much, Steve. Well done, Frank Robinson. Let's get Ian Sturgeon in. I haven't spoken to Ian for a while. He's... Uh, been engaged and things have happened, missing flights, etc. But nice to have you back in town. Yeah, it's been nice. Uh, I got suspended, spent a little bit of time in the Kruger, which was nice. And uh, then I pulled a little muscle in my groin. So I've been off, off and on, off and on. But now I'm feeling, feeling good again. It's nice to be back. This horse, uh, Frank says uh, he, he's going to train on. You share his sentiments? Most certainly. I really like this little horse. You know, in the thousand last time he got run off his feet and he, and he ran on nicely to, you know, run into it. And today I was super confident, you know, from draw two, the race was always going to work out for me. And, uh, you know, at the top of the straight, I wanted to come out and I got pushed back in and uh, a little bit of a shaky moment there. But he came through with flying colours. Uh, he showed his class and he, he ran away from this field quite nicely. Nice to be back on the turf. Uh, we miss our uh, turf racing. And how's it looking for you boys out there? 
Yeah, you know, the track is it's not slow. Um, the track is good. Um, so hopefully, you know, with no false rail, it, it can cause a little bit of problems. But, uh, you know, the track in itself is great um, and, it, and it feels really nice. I'm sure we'll have a good day. What about the balance of Ian Sturgeon's rides? I've got chances. I've got a nice chance in the next. And I think Alma also has a, has a nice chance in that. So it's a competitive race, you know. There's, uh, there's two other fillies there that can run a bit. Um, Carl Zachner's filly that he's riding and uh, also Muzi's filly. But, um, you know, I expect Alma to, to follow up on her previous form and, and I expect her to win. You will have a good feel for a horse's action and how they take to the poly and then the transition to the turf now. And Alma, do you have any concerns? No, you know, Alma, I felt on both surfaces and, um, you know, she's, she's equally as effective, you know, equally effective on each. Um, she's, she's just a talented filly, you know, she's got a, a beautiful action and, you know, those, those good horses, they'll come through on any track. Thanks for that, Ian. All the best for the rest of the afternoon. Good stuff. Thanks, Steve. Ian Sturgeon for Frank Robinson, number five, son of silver. As I mentioned, a popular start to the place accumulator for all. Five, eight, ten, and thirteen. That's the way they finished. Coming up next, the big one, the bet that we all love to catch. It's difficult. It's about structuring your perm. It's called a pick six. It's coming up next, 14.35. That's at 25 to 3. The first leg of this afternoon's pick six.